Representative Evan Goyke with a little nerd power video breaking down the first motion that the Joint Committee on Finance is taking up today, Thursday, May 6th, on Governor Evers' proposed 2021 to 2023 budget. So, uh, in an unprecedented move, the Republicans of the, uh, the Joint Finance Committee will be removing 280 items from the state budget in one motion. Uh, it's a sweeping change to the state budget that impacts a wide range of various policy and funding priorities. Now, they're gonna say that it's all about non-fiscal policy, but there's a lot of fiscal impact and they clearly are just, uh, there's some uh, non-fiscal policy, but many of the decisions they're making today will have lasting impact on the state budget, which is what I wanted to talk to you about today. So, removing 200 items from the government's budget will punch a $3.4 billion hole in the budget. Uh, you know, you don't have to take my word for it. Today's top of the fold headline in the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, $3.4 billion gap created in the governor's budget by this one motion. Uh, this is done through a number of changes in tax policy, which will reduce state revenues. But the biggest single item, the one I want to highlight, and we've done videos on this before, by far the biggest mistake today, and there's many mistakes today, is the rejection of Badger Care expansion. Now, um, you know, click on our videos on Nerd Power to talk about how Badger Care expansion saves the state money. But what you need to know is that this one act, this one motion by rejecting Medicaid, will will cost us. $1.6 billion over the next two years. That has an implication on every single corner of the state budget. So if you're listening to this and you, Medicaid isn't your biggest issue, you are an advocate for the UW system or for uh, the K-12 public school system or transportation or childcare, those priorities will be negatively impacted by the rejection of $1.6 billion dollars in federal aid and the reason for that is when we say no to federal money we have to backfill that with state general purpose revenue which means there's less to go around so by rejecting medicaid rejecting the federal funds next week next month next year there will be less revenue coming to the state of wisconsin and thus less investment made in priorities around the state so this decision impacts everyone. It impacts the entire state budget, and it's the biggest single mistake that Republicans are making today in the first motion on joint finance.